counterfeit sports products are a huge problem. And right now, federal investigators are looking for not only those products, but vendors who might be selling them. And the uh, Department of Homeland Security has seized almost 200,000 pieces of counterfeit sports merchandise worth worth an estimated $23 million. So on your side, Susan is looking into this issue and says, obviously, it is still a huge problem, right, Susan? Yeah, the stats are from last year, and we know this operation continues. A lot of people say, so what? I'm not hurting anyone if I wear a fake shirt, but that couldn't actually be farther from the truth. First, you're wasting your own money because the products are junk. You're hurting legitimate businesses that did pay for licenses to produce this gear, and those bad guys are not paying tax. So your community isn't benefiting from any sales. Counterfeit uh, intellectual property is it's, it's a worldwide problem. Um, but when there are large scale events like the World Series, like the Super Bowl, we do see these individual, a lot of these individuals looking to take advantage of that. You have an influx of personnel coming to places like Phoenix where they feel they can make a quick buck uh, by taking advantage of the influx of folks coming in. And they're, they're trying to profit from that. So here are some telltale signs of counterfeit gear. You want to watch out for things like ripped tags, poor quality, sloppy stitching, or irregular markings on jerseys, hats, and other apparel. You also should stick to shopping at trusted retail locations. That means avoid buying from street vendors and flea markets. You should also be very careful about online sellers who can use real product photos to lure you in. You may not even know if you're going to get a legitimate or an illegitimate product, but now those individuals, they have your credit card information. They can now attempt to steal from you, open up fraudulent accounts in your name. You have no idea what's going on with that information that you now just voluntarily gave up to what could be a, a, a criminal group. If you suspect you bought something that is fake, report it to IPR. And again, we do know that those investigators are out there taking leads. And they are really working to try to crack down on all of this because it is a big deal right. and it happens and you don't want that stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone just wants a piece of something and That's it's true. hard. Sometimes it is so hard. Yeah. It's tricky. The that old adage applies. If it seems too good to be true, probably, yeah. probably yeah. is five dollar hats. Mm. That's yeah. just not what the MLB Maybe it's on sells. Sale. I don't think so. I'm sorry. <laughs> not from the street corner. Absolutely. D Box had an A in it. <laughs> D Box. D Box. <laughs> Thanks, Susan.